beast man you've lost <laughs> never get the girl Here, you cowards. I command you, come back. You miserable traitors. When I get my hands... Beast Man, I'll give you ten seconds to follow your friends before I send you there myself. <laughs> Mark my words, He-Man. Someday you will wish you never heard the name Beast Man. I already wish I never heard it. Took a step toward Beast Man. <laughs> old Furface tripped three times trying to get out of the fortress. Thank you all for coming to the Age of the Widgets once again. We were glad to be of help. Now I must be going. And I must get back to my duties at the palace. Adam is behind in his training. We sure showed Beast Man. It'll be a long time before he tries something like that again. You better be careful, Orko. The abyss can be very dangerous. Well, to you, maybe, but I can fly. Yes, but there are great winds and mystical forces down there. The source of Grey Skull's power is down there. Gee, looks like it goes down a long way. It should. The abyss is bottomless. B -b bottomless? How, how can something not have a bottom? Actually, the abyss goes to the center of the planet. That qualifies as bottomless in my book. Do you want a rock to drop in the abyss? I promise you, you won't hear it hit bottom. Oh, no thanks. I have my own rock. Uh, no, I said rock, not sock. No, not clock, rock! <laughs> That's better. Hmm. Not a sound. Guess that makes it pretty bottomless. Hey, wait for me, E-Man, Gila! of Adam skipping my lessons. I've been looking everywhere for you. You're supposed to be... I know, I know. I'm supposed to be learning survival skills. Right. So why didn't you meet me two hours ago? To tell the truth, Teela, I didn't feel like it. What? You didn't... Look, I know I have a lot to learn. But come on, Teela. Can't we have some fun once in a while? Fun? Adam, you can't waste your life just fooling around. There are too many important things to do. Well, that's what I mean. Work, work, work. It's all you ever think about. Well, I don't feel like it. But Adam, I... That will be all, Captain. <laughs> I hope you're proud of yourself. I've never heard you talk that way to Tila. Well, she's always... Oh, I don't know. I guess I'm... I'm just tired, Cringer. But you're He-Man. Yeah, he never gets tired. But Prince Adam does. It's always study this, learn that. I'm tired of it. Well, I'm tired of being Battle Cat, but... As much as I hate to say this, I'm, I'm sure glad he's around when we need him. I know, old friend. You're right. I'd just like to take a break for a while. Do something relaxing for a change. Me too, but, but what about Tila? Don't worry, I'll say something to her. In the meantime, why don't we use this nice shady spot for a nap? Now you're talking. He dismissed me as if I were a, a stranger. Uh, Tila, remember, he is the Prince of Eternia. But we grew up together like brother and sister. And when was the last time you played like brother and sister? Play? We're both grown. And why are you taking his side? I'm not taking anyone's side. 
Look, dear, I'm very proud of you and the way you handle your responsibilities. But you've got to loosen up occasionally. Loosen up? Yes. Take a break. The battle at the Widget Fortress has exhausted you. Father, I'm fine. My problem is Adam. Then why not find a way of combining work with fun? Oh, thank you, Father. You've just given me an idea. Gotta run. <laughs> Kids. Adam! Cringer, wait up! Adam, I have been thinking about what you said in the courtyard earlier, and I... Dela, I want to apologize for the way I spoke to you today. You see, I was... Tired. Y yes, I know. You don't have to apologize. You were right. It's time we had some fun for a change. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What did you have in mind? <laughs> Trust me. Now this is more like it. Your picnic idea is just what we needed. Isn't that right, Cringer? Yeah. You said it. Hey, fellas, the fun isn't over yet. What? What's next? Are we going to play a game or something? <laughs> As a matter of fact, we are. I'm going to hide somewhere in the forest, and you have to find me. Hey, hide and seek. We used to play that when we were kids, remember? Oh, yes, I remember. <laughs> That's why I brought these. What's this for? In case you get lost. It's a homing device. Yours will be set on send, and mine will be on receive. This will help you find me in case you get hopelessly lost. Oh, don't worry about me. Worry about finding a good hiding place. <laughs> All right. Now, just give me a head start. Hey, what happens if you get lost? I don't get lost. Cringer, want to help me find Tila? <sighs> you just run along and have a good time. I'll just guard the picnic basket for you. Okay, just don't work too hard. Well, I think she's had enough time. Ah, uh -huh. Tila, I'm hot on your trail. already. Good. Good, Adam. You're getting it. This ought to hone your tracking skills. Good. He's on his way. What was that? Oh, now, who might you be? Oh, <laughs> aren't you the cutest thing? What's your name, little fella? <laughs> I think I'll call you Pookie. What do you think? Do you like the name Pookie? <laughs> Very good, Adam. You found me. But now you have to catch me. I'll catch you, all right. And this time, no head start. It was nice meeting you, Pookie. <laughs> Bye. Well, what next? What do you think I am, an acrobat? What's the matter, Adam? Can't you keep up with a girl? Pookie, I'll race you to the castle. I'll show her. She's not going to get the best of me. Oh! Tila, this isn't fun anymore. Tila! <laughs> You did a better job of following me than Adam did. Let's see if Adam can track me here. We sure gave Adam a run for his money. Well, he needs the exercise. Right, Pookie? Pookie? Pookie! Pookie, get away from there! 
Ooh, that was a close one, Pookie. You could have fallen over that edge. <laughs> well, yes, you must be careful. <laughs> oh! Have misread the tracks. I'll bet she doubled back to Cringer. Tila, Tila. Gosh, she's not here either. Cringer, didn't Tila come back here? Oh, hi, Adam. Uh, Tila? No, 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 I haven't seen her. I thought for sure she'd be here. She probably went back to the palace. Well, it doesn't seem like her to leave like that. Well, she probably got hungry. Say, isn't it almost dinner time? Almost. Maybe you're right. I, I guess she's getting back at me for giving her a hard time yesterday. <laughs> It's close. Oh, my arm. Oh, Spooky, you're all right. Well, I can't say the same for myself. I think my arm is broken. Adam. Adam! Oh, it's no use. Adam doesn't even know where I am. All right, come on, Tila. Pull yourself together. Think. Stay cool now. Oh, how are we gonna get out of this one? Oh, wait! The homing device! I'll just switch this to send, and maybe Adam... No, he won't be on receive. Besides, this transmitter isn't very strong, and oh, I have no idea how far we fell. No one knows where we are. I can't climb out with this arm, and oh, what am I gonna do? What am I going to do? Duncan, have you seen Tila? No, she wasn't at dinner either. Did you two have another fight? No, we got separated in the forest. I'd hoped she'd come back here. Hmm. How long has she been missing? Well, almost four hours. Duncan, I'm worried. You know, it's not like Tila to go off by herself unprepared. Wait, Duncan, she was prepared. She gave me this homing device. <laughs> it's funny, she thought I was gonna get lost. Why, this is one of the signal devices I made a while back. Look, her transmitter's on. She's trying to signal us. Perhaps. This was never meant for long distances, and the evergreen forest is on the other side of the fertile plains. I'll boost the power. We'll use the city's long-range sensors to locate her. All I have to do is adjust for this frequency, and the scanner will do the rest. Is that Tila? Sure looks like it, only it's not coming from the forest. It's not? Where, then? Around Castle Greyskull. Let's go. There. That will have to do. That's the way out. And we're not getting anywhere by sitting. Go! Oh! Well, then again, maybe I'd better sit. I don't get it. The source is right here, but it indicates the transmitter is still far away. Which direction? North, east, or... No direction, just here. I don't get it. Duncan, come here. I think I found something. What is it, Adam? Tila's footprints. Are you sure? Well, I should know them. I tracked her through the forest before. What are those marks? Hmm, this break is fresh. That means Tila came this way. It looks like... like she slid... Not over the edge. Oh, no. Not Tila. Oh. <laughs> Prince Adam, Matadoms, what brings you... 
What's wrong? I sense great sadness. It's Tila. Something's happened to her. We think she may have fallen into the abyss. Oh, no. Tila. Tila. Where is she? She's down in the abyss. Very far down. Oh, Adam, she's hurt. Tila's hurt? I'm going after her. No, wait. He won't get very far. There are very strong updrafts. That means we can't use the sky sled to go down there. We must climb down. And I know someone better suited for the task. That's strange. I wonder what... By the power of Grey Skull! but I don't intend waiting to find out. I can just get to that rock up there. The rocks on the other side are a lot easier to climb than this wall. Watch out for formations like that last one. You never know when one's going to kill you. <laughs> Hold on, Duncan. I'll pull you up. Hold on. Thank goodness you're here, He-Man. I would never have made it without you. But we still have to find Tila and get out of here safely. Tila! There she is, Duncan. Boy, am I ever glad to see you. Orko, take the rope and tie it around Tila. Take your time, Orko. Make sure the rope is secure. You know, Adam is very worried about you, Tila. Let's go home. Just a little more. <clears throat> At last. Oh, what a climb. I don't know about you, but I could sleep for a week. We'll have you home in no time. You know, the strangest thing about this whole experience is my mother. Your, your mother? Well, I don't know how to explain. You're the only parent I've known. But in the middle of everything, I had this overwhelming feeling that my mother was protecting me. I felt that she loves me and wants me in her arms. She does, Tia. She does. Tila learned two extremely important lessons today. She learned it's just as important to play as it is to study and work. But it's also important to take the time to learn the rules for playing safely. Right, Duncan. Tila wandered too far away. And when she ran into trouble, there was no one around to help her or to go for help. So when you play away from family or friends, make sure someone knows where you are at all times. Glimmer, frost. 
Costa. Even Madame Red. No, I think it was... Razzle Dazzle. Um, make him frazzle. Oh, dear my. Uh, wait! Wait a minute! Uh, wreck him! Wreck him! Oh, dear my. That's it! Keep firing! We got him pinned down! Well, I've had just about as much of this as I can take. So what if we're outnumbered? Chew on these, tin heads! Uh-oh! Run! Ah, oh, the sound of retreating hordesmen. It's music to my ears. If I were you, Bo, I wouldn't relax yet. Look! Terrific. Just whose bright idea was it to lead a direct attack on the Fright Zone anyway? <laughs> Yours? It's the last thing they'd expect you said. You'd have to be crazy to try something like this. You said. <laughs> well, I was right, wasn't I? Oh, all is ready, Master Hordak. The rebels are pinned down. Shira will have to show up soon. Excellent! And then we can pull our little surprise on her. <laughs> be ready when I give the signal. Good. I've been looking forward to trying out my new spell all month. Now, your spell? Hordak was talking about my new dark blaster. That's the surprise. My spell. My dark blaster. <laughs> well, I'm without a solution. Any ideas, Adora? How we... <laughs> all right, that does it. So, take... Oh! Adora! <laughs> How is he? <gasps> He'll be all right as soon as the effects of the stun beam wear off. And meanwhile, this gives me the chance I've been looking for. To do this! For the honor of Greyskull! Joking. 
Before we spend time fighting each other, don't you think we ought to find out where we are and how we're going to get home? If you've seen one planet, you've seen them all. There's nothing different about this one. Except that, of course. Boo! There, you see? Nothing to worry about. Wrong again, Hordak. As usual. Why me? Bah! You'll find it easier to catch Hordak than to hold him. Now, it's your turn! <laughs> going to have to find some way to keep you out of trouble. And those stalactites might just be the key to putting you behind bars for a while. Here goes! <laughs> now, that ought to hold you for a while. At least long enough for us to finish what we started. <laughs> Who dares laugh at Hordak? Show yourself! I am the Dark One, and this is my home. A world between worlds. A place neither here nor there. A time between yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And what do you want with us? You have trespassed into my world, and you must pay the penalty. Somewhere out there, I have created a door that will take you back to your own world. You have only to find it, and the key that opens it. The rules are simple. If you find the way out, you can leave. If not, then you will remain here forever as my slaves. S slaves Who do you think you're talking to? No one makes me their slave! I'll fight you every step of the way! That's funny, Hordak. We feel the same way about you. Well, that, that's different. Is it? Silence! Enough talk. The game for your freedom begins now. The whole cavern is coming down. We have to get out of here. Like a maze. Which way do we go? I don't know. All I do know is that whichever path we take, they all lead to trouble. We're trapped here, and it's all your fault. My fault? That's right. If it weren't for you rebels, we wouldn't be here right now. So it's all your fault. <laughs> Of course, we also wouldn't be here if you hadn't invaded Etheria in the first place. Details. Don't bother me with details. Then, let's deal with the situation at hand, shall we? Fact. We're stuck here. Fact. You don't like me, and I'm not real big on you either. But if we're ever going to get out of here, we've got to work together. <laughs> A truce. All right, Shira. You've got a deal. Then let's get going. The sooner we're out of here, the better I'll like it. Yeah. But when the time comes, I'll make sure that only one of us gets back to Etheria. Me. To go on, we'll have to go through the drawbridge. I don't see any way to open it. So there's only one thing to do. Break it down! Hordak, wait! Look, the draw... Uh, Hordak waits for nothing! That's the last time anyone does that to me! It wouldn't have happened at all if you had listened. This boulder is the size and shape of that opening, just like a key. Which means that it might unlock it. Only one way to find out! See? All you have to do is think. I'm a Horde Commander! I'm not 
supposed to think? What am I saying? <laughs> Upstairs, downstairs. Which way now? I... I, I could tell you. But only if you bring me some berries. They're too far up for me to use my sword without damaging the berries. So I guess that leaves you, Hordak. Me? Why should I? Why don't we just make him tell us? That's why. You scared him. Come back. He won't do that again, I promise. Now, my berries, please? Oh, all right. <laughs> If you want to go out, you go up. Thanks. Where are you going? He got what he wanted. So he has no reason to tell us the truth. So he has to be lying. So, we go down. Uh, I'll, I'll second thought. Up sounds good. Hordak, you know what your problem is. You lie all the time, so you naturally think everyone else does. But people can tell the truth, even when they don't have anything to gain. Why is it that with you, everything always comes down to good and bad, right and wrong? Because when you get right down to it, every big decision involves knowing right from wrong. Ah, then I'm in great shape. I don't know right from wrong. Yes, and when I think of that, it's the only time I feel sorry for you. Now, let's go. What? No, no, no. Listen here. No one feels sorry for Hordak. I won't have it. I'm... I'm trapped. An interesting pair, these two. They make for quite a game. <laughs> Why don't they give up? You're mine, do you hear? Mine forever! <laughs> How long have we been here, I wonder? Days? Weeks? Months? No way of telling! Why? Getting tired? Ready to give up? Never. Just curious. What is that? Oh, the poor deer's stuck. Oh, the poor deer's stuck! <laughs> Give me a break. So are we. Leave it be for all I care. It's too risky. Hordak, you don't tell me how to do my job, and I won't tell you how to be a power-mad, narrow-minded fool, all right? Fine. Wait a minute. What did you say? Forget it. There you go. Now you can... Why, it disappeared. That's right. And you've just ruined my game. How could you? That was the pest of mercy, the final one. In a thousand years, no one has ever put aside their own problems long enough to help someone else. Until now. You mean, we're free to go? Yes, yes, you've won. Just my luck to run into someone who isn't selfish. Each of you take one of these jewels. They will allow you to return to your own world through the gate. Thanks for the information. I'll take both of them. Hordak, I thought we had an agreement. We did. I just cancelled it. <laughs> I'm taking these and leaving you stranded here forever. Now, out of my way. Oh, no, you don't. Sword to rope. <laughs> There's only one jewel left. That's mine! 
No, it has been decided. What? A force field? You may go, Shira, but the other must stay as my slave. No, I can't do it. I won't allow anyone to become a slave, not even Hordak. Either both of us go, or neither of us go back. Then you will have to get past me. <laughs> Let's see how much of my power you can stand before you kneel before me in surrender. Never. It's useless. How much power can even you absorb? I don't know, but I'm about to find out. Have to hold on. Can't give up. Impossible. No one has ever withstood such an attack. What manner of woman is this? must get rid of this power. The Dark One! Use it against the Dark One! Get your revenge! No! Such power! And yet you chose not to harm me? You chose to endanger yourself rather than abandon an enemy? Your heart is as great as your courage. You have won not only your own freedom, but that of your companion. Go now, and return to your world. Thank you. Come on, Hordak. Let's go. This is your last chance, Rebels! Tell me what you have done with Hordak! Us? What have you done with Shira? where the Dark One lives. Now's our chance! Take the Rebels! Now! No! No? No! You saved my life, but I will not be in your debt. I am therefore repaying you now. We will not fight this day. You may go in peace this time, but when next we meet, beware. Wait. Now's our chance, if we take advantage of it. No, Bo. Even Hordak, it would seem, has a sense of honor, however twisted. We must honor that. I still don't understand it. Why did she do it? She could have left me there, and she didn't. Why? Why? Besides, who knows? If he dwells on it long enough, maybe he'll figure it out. Maybe he'll understand. And then, Bo, we'll have won the greatest battle of them all. Now, come on, let's go home. Instead of playing our usual game, I'd like to talk to you about a very big problem. Drugs. You may have friends, maybe older children, or even adults who are trying to or may try to turn you on to drugs. Drugs are not a turn-on. Drugs are a turn-off. They could seriously harm you. I beg you, don't try them.